मीटिंग सत श्री अकाल नमस्कार खुशामुद्दीन एंड सबको सादर प्रणाम I am eagerly awaiting. In fact, I've been waiting since a long, a long time. I was told that uh, I was to conduct a VC lecture series uh, session on healthy foods. Now, this is one of my uh, favorite topics, and uh, it is the in thing. Everybody is talking about healthy foods. Uh, we are talking about COVID and how to win the war against COVID, how to counter COVID, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. so in in my presentation which will be uh, briefly about uh, uh, ek ghante ki i'm not going to talk covid 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 only because we had too much of covid but a little bit of covid would be there because uh, it's happening during these times and all of us all of us need to be uh, aware of uh, what to uh, do and what not to do now ladies and gentlemen my friend uh, faculty i i from the bottom of my heart welcome faculty from uh, uh, chitkara university punjab campus chitkara university himachal pradesh campus and those who are watching me from chitkara international school welcome uh, to this session i hope you enjoy it uh, there's a little disclosure i'm not a doctor uh whatever required uh, knowledge is is from whatever i've uh, read i've done a little bit of research and this is my uh, favorite topic uh, being a little inclination uh, towards uh, culinary arts uh, also so let's begin there is there is a powerpoint uh, of about 42 slides very very useful uh, i would suggest uh, of, of, of course this is being recorded but i would suggest that uh, you have a little pen and paper uh they are very important uh, ladies and gentlemen my dear faculty uh if you could switch off the uh the, the microphone speakers because it gives a rebound uh, on the thing and it'll cause a little uh, disturbance now i am going to begin my presentation there are three uh uh videos i'm going to run through uh, short ones very brief ones but uh, they will uh, give you a lot of information so here i go uh i'm sure you enjoy and uh, do give me a feedback uh, uh after this session so ladies and gentlemen we are starting another session of vc lecture series thank you very much for watching me and here we go okay healthy foods a very 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 important uh, discussion uh let's start uh why do we need healthy food obviously to protect ourselves uh, from diseases and illnesses to lead lead a healthy and happy life and most important most important is longevity okay we so that we live a long life uh we are familiar with this uh, this this person on the right i don't know if it's a person or or whatever we call it absolutely a stupid uh, person who's ruined uh the entire scenario mr covid uh wherever it's come from doesn't really matter but uh, we in india and i'm sure we would and uh, uh, uh everyone says that we would win the war against covid and one of the reasons we could do it is by controlling our diet by controlling the food we eat uh etc etc there are there are many reasons uh we we can uh, counter this fellow but right now today uh, we are talking only about healthy foods to eat and what can we do in terms of food to counter uh, mr covid uh it's it's been bad it's spread all around the world there's an economic slowdown and uh, uh if we keep our immune system strong we would be able to uh, counter covid uh so so here we go the entire uh, one of the purposes of this uh, presentation is that now i've got a friend in uh, chaiti narula she she works for news 18 she's done a brilliant video she sent me this video uh, says a lot about what's uh, coming through what i'm going to go through is various ingredients where various food uh uh we should eat and we will go through every slide where where would i try my level best to explain uh what that ingredient is or what that food is and why it should be eaten so let's see the video to start with and then we'll go through the slides 
age old ayurvedic wisdom says that whatever medication you require prophylactically is all available in your kitchen in fact i ended up speaking to a few doctors who explain how a certain ingredients in your kitchen can be used effectively by you to strengthen your body's immune system. The doctors at Chara Pharma are doing extensive research in this regard and they gave me a few tips and I would like to share them with you as well. The first thing that they say is consume a lot of moong dal. Now why moong dal? Here's the reason. Moong dal, which is an Indian stew, which is made of lentils and vegetables, is easily digestible in the stomach and is very, very nutritious. So while you are at home, build your immunity so that you keep all these viruses at bay as well. The next stuff that they say is green leafy vegetables. Why green leafy vegetables? Here's the reason. So going for something like spinach, kale, curry leaves or cabbage for that matter, according to doctors at Charit Pharma, these are the ingredients that you need to put in your food. But why? Here's the reason. Once they're mixed with powerful stimulating spices, they become very, very effective to strengthen internally your body's immune defense system. They provide you with calcium, iron, other valuable nutrients that have a cleansing effect on the bowels as well. The next up is the age-old haldi, turmeric. Include as much haldi as possible while you're cooking your food or make a haldi kada and have it or have golden milk. We said this earlier, Irish ministries also said it. Haldi is a natural anti-inflammatory and it's a great immune booster. Ensure that you involve uh, turmeric in your food. Next up, have a lot of legumes and lentils every day. This is something that you can do even when you have stocked up a lot of uh, these dals during the lockdown. Just make sure you have them. They will give you a boost of protein in your body, improve your immune system as well. They are highly appreciated in Ayurveda because they are a valuable source of proteins and light and healthy for the entire body, give you a sense of content and it can be consumed every day as well. That's the good news. One of course is you should have black pepper and jeera. It helps you cleanse your entire system. It helps you keep well. And during these times, it's very important to keep yourself well. Remember, none of this is a cure. This is just to keep your body fit and fine and something that you can find easily in your kitchen to keep your body well. So what does jeera do? Uh, the cumin helps to reduce the arm. The black pepper cleanses the body entirely so that it facilitates the ojas energy to reach the tissues in depth. I also spoke to my doctor at Charakama who told me that eating foods every day really ends up helping and it's a great, great immunity booster. First up, they say have seasonal fruits. Fruits that are in season, they will help you boost your immunity. Next up, and one can't stress this enough, how important vitamin C is. Oranges are the best source of vitamin C that you end up getting. They have a lot of antioxidants as well and several other vitamins as well to help you boost your immunity. Next up is papaya. Papaya will help you improve your digestion and also build in your immunity. There is one. Papaya has lysopene as well as vitamin C to improve your digestion, to enhance immunity as well. And it's easily available. Grapes. Grapes are very, very effective in helping you build your body's defense mechanisms. Strawberries. If strawberries are easily available, have them. They'll give you a boost of vitamin C and they will help you improve your immunity as well. Next fruit that these doctors recommended was have a lot of pineapples. And here's one. Bromelain, an enzyme which is found in pineapple, aids in boosting the immune system. It also helps relieve cold and nasal congestion. So, well, these are a few things that you can do at home to keep yourself well, happy. Very natural way. They're all available in your kitchen. You don't even need to ask your doctor before having these because these are everyday foods. But make sure from the everyday foods, you're giving more importance to the ones that I just mentioned because that will help you keep well overall, help you develop the body's defense mechanism to be able to fight any kind of virus going forward faster. Remember, none of this is a cure. This is just for your well-being. Thanks so much. Stay at home. Stay alive. Thanks for tuning into this video. Thanks. Thanks to Chaiti for uh, starting it off. Uh, okay. Uh, she mentions a lot about fruits. She men mentions a lot about lentils. These have to be essential things in your diet. Now, I remember I went the other day for uh, fruit shopping and somebody advised me to buy a lot of apricots. It's mentioned in the video. Now, when you go to uh, uh, a vendor, that Radiwala who's, uh, who comes to your, uh, outside your gate or you get in the market, uh, just for an example, because this thought came to me right now, is that uh, there are two kinds of apricots available, you know, uh, alu bukhara. There are the two kinds of uh, 
apricots available. One is the red one and one is the orange one. The red and the pink ones are khatta. They're not great and they have a lot of uh, also sugar in them. Some would have, some would be slightly towards the south side. Buy apricots which are uh, orange in color. They are extremely good, very good immunity bo boosters and have a lot of vitamin C in them, okay? So uh, coming back uh, to the, to the uh, PPT, what are healthy foods? An obvious answer. Uh, it's a healthy diet and it uh, uh, helps you develop a strong and healthy body. Your organs of your body uh, function normally if you have a healthy diet. If you don't, too much of junk food. Uh, I, I, I believe literally everything goes junk in your body. So have food which is uh, uh, healthy and diet, which is, uh, 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 which is good, which will help your body. And uh, a good diet obviously uh, 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 raises your uh, metabolic uh, rate in the body, which again is very good. And everybody, every newspaper, everything you open is talking about uh, immunity, immunity boosting stuff, immunity boosting stuff. So I'm going to mention a lot uh, on how to uh, boost your immunity. Now with COVID, there is no vaccination as yet. A lot of people are saying uh, vaccination bandra hai, trial abhi shuru ho jayega, next month shuru ho jayega. But right now, let's not bother about that. Let's bother about how to keep our body fit and fine to counter uh, COVID and win the war against COVID. Okay. Um, Let's start with fresh herbs. These are very, very, very important, my friends. Um, what you see on the right, basil, coriander, arugula, uh, marjoram, mint, blah, 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 all these are available in the grocery store or in a supermarket. Uh, one, of the, one of the brands available and very good brand is Kaya. Uh, you get plenty of them. You get them individually or you get them uh, 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 all, all mixed together. Now, it is very difficult, only if somebody has a little kitchen garden and is uh, fond of all these things, would uh, uh, grow them fresh. These are recommended to be eaten fresh, but not everybody can get them fresh. So it's better to buy these dry uh, 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 herbs from the market and use them. You know, they are a very good substitute for salt, avoid salt as much as possible. And if these herbs are uh, put together, uh, it's almost about 2,400 mg of sodium per uh, teaspoon. So th these will substitute for that and are very good, used in some quantity or the other. Now, some people will say, uh, sirap mint hai ya eka dismi se hai jo Indian food mein use ho sakta hai, coriander use ho hai. No, my friends. Use all of them. Each of these herbs uh, add a particular flavor. We also have this mental setup. Jada herbs to use hote hain in Italian food. No, I use them a lot in Indian food, and they give you excellent flavor. So even if you make an excellent uh, paneer dish or paneer makhani or whatever, uh, basil to pata hai. Basil, everybody knows. Uh, there are two kinds of basil. Uh, it's good to grow a basil, a tulsi uh, uh, pot in your uh, garden or even in your vera if you have, if you live in apartments or wherever, grow that and you can, uh, uh, basil apart from being used in chai and stuff like that can also be uh, used in uh, food. Of course, coriander, mint, uh, everything else is there. Rosemary is becoming very popular. Uh, it it uh, gives a very good flavor, thyme also, uh, gives a very good flavor. So if you get the dry fellows, uh, sprinkle them on your dishes. Uh, uh, after the dish is there, don't cook these guys too much because if you cook them too much, it, it spoils them, it finishes their uh, uh, use. So once your dish is prepared, uh, get those uh, sprinklers which will have these either, like I mentioned, individually or in uh, 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 mix, mixed herbs, sprinkle them and it will be uh, a great taste to the food. Uh, these are all these, uh, all these herbs uh, also are great uh, antioxidants. They're rich in antioxidants. So uh, will 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 uh, help you in the diet. Okay. Uh, now, 
extra virgin olive oil. We've heard a lot of uh, uh, stuff in olive oil. It's available. Some people say it's very good for cooking. Yes, it is. Uh, I do not recommend olive oil in a salad for a simple reason that uh, it should not be consumed raw. Okay. Um, it should be used in cooking. It is very good in cooking. Extra virgin, there are many varieties available. Uh, extra virgin is the more expensive uh, of the uh, varieties available. And uh, it's, it's double and triple uh, refined. So this is the best uh, refined olive oil available in the market. And now it's become a fashion in the country. You'll get it off the shelf, very easily available. There are a lot of brands and uh, there are a couple of Indian brands who uh, also make uh, olive oil. So use a lot of this, use in salads, very good in uh, veggies, sprinkle a little. Of course, if we have pasta and uh, Italian food and uh, whatever uh, is available, olive oil is, olive oil is very good. The Italians cannot live with it without uh, uh, olive oil. And uh, more so for a reason that olives are brilliant, it'll come later. Olives are very, very, very healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, stuff, uh, healthy food. So it, you can, um, uh, you know, uh, there, there are a whole lot of items which will come later where olive oil can be used. It's better than uh, the uh, uh, saturated oils which are available in the market. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, stuff going on uh, against these saturated oils. Dalda, uh, stuff like ghee is very good, but we'll talk about that uh, later. Almonds, absolutely a superstar. Almonds are brilliant. They have magnesium, vitamin E, iron, calcium, fiber, riboflavin, and it's been coming up, coming out for years. Our ancestors would say, "Ki panch badam raat ko pani me bigo." Subay utte, the first thing you do is chilka nikalo, and that safed badam uh, is is very good uh, to boost your immunity and absolutely good to develop your brain. So a lot of us give it to our uh, kids in their formative years. So please continue do the, uh, doing that, but uh, eat in moderation. Too many almonds, uh, that's why we say five, not more than that. Too many almonds or eating too much of these uh, nuts is or can also be uh, bad for health. So uh, go in moderation. And uh, they're also known uh, to reduce your uh, cholesterol level. Lentils, uh, as Chaiti said, uh, absolutely brilliant stuff. It's the Indian stew. Uh, we were always told that, uh, you know, you have uh, something called Ganga Jamuni, uh, as it's called it. Ganga Jamuni dal is a mix of one or two or three uh, dals, which is very good, but uh, you can take them um, individually also. Uh, Avoid some dals which can be very heavy on the stomach, uh, uh, on your gut late at the night. For example, chana dal should be eaten uh, duperko rather than uh, at night time. But uh, dals are very good in fiber, absolutely brilliant in magnesium and potassium. So we must eat more of the dals. Uh, one of the things we also do is moong dal ka sprout or uh, there are a lot of these black dals where you can sprout. Uh, they become very delicious, healthy, and uh, you can also have them mixed with a little bit of tomatoes uh, and onions in the morning as, as uh, a, a breakfast. So very, very good uh, uh, thing, which is or should be part of your diet. Citrus fruits, absolutely brilliant. Again, oranges is the king of the citrus fruits, um, uh, but sadly, so we don't get them uh, around the year. What you get in the market uh, at the present moment are uh, sweet limes, but if you can get good tangerines, they are available. Uh, if you can get the Malta, they are available. Um, and and uh, uh, sweet lime in plenty. So uh, these are uh, very, very extremely rich in vitamin C. Uh, if you have a running nose or if you have a cold, uh, have uh, uh, citrus fruits and they'll help you fight the cold. Uh, they also uh, help in increasing the white blood cells, uh, which are key to fighting. So WBC uh, production will increase if you have a lot of citrus fruits. 
uh, and and uh, this will ward off uh, or help you in fighting uh, uh, infections. Now, lemon, of course, is, is very important. Everybody is talking in these times during the COVID uh, times to have lemon, 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 and lemon. Uh, they say if you have lemon uh, with a little bit of warm water before you get to bed uh, at night, it, it helps you uh, keep the cold off, keep the bad throat off, uh, which, which are the, uh, the fundamental base for COVID to spread, the COVID virus to spread. Uh, one of my favorite foods, broccoli. The broccoli is again a superstar and has tons and tons of vitamin and minerals. It can be used uh, for everything. It's a good substitute, uh, uh, I must say, for uh, gobi. Gobi is bad, uh, but uh, broccoli is absolutely brilliant. It is packed with vitamin A, C, and E, and has lots of fiber. Uh, can be used in continental food, if it, or, or uh, if you take a little bit of vegetables, carrots, beans, green peas, broccoli, just toss them in a little bit of olive oil and uh, whatever else you use, uh, put a wee bit of stir fry uh, uh, sauce, and it's a delicious dish, absolutely brilliant. So broccoli should be part of the fridge, of your fridge tray every day. It's very commonly available, not very expensive, perhaps you get it for 70 rupees a kilo or 70 rupees or whatever. Uh, 100 rupees a kilo, but keep it as part of your refrigerator. It's, it's an absolutely brilliant thing. And uh, it, it, uh, as, as it said here, it's one of the most healthiest vegetable you can put on your plate. And it goes, uh, Mr. Broccoli goes with everything, whether it's Indian, Chinese, uh, uh, continental, etc. Garlic, garlic. Garlic is probably the best Ek garlic ka wo pot khalo, cholesterol niche rahega, heart attack nahi hoga, uh, things like that. So, 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 uh, what they say is that uh, take take the uh, garlic out of the pod, out of its shells, and cut it into small pieces and expose it to the air. Now, uh, as written here, garlic has allicin. When you expose allicin to the air. The, the little pod of garlic becomes dark brown. That's when it should be eaten. So then chop it into small pieces. Raat ko thode se kose pani ke saath. Not boiling water. Boiling water will kill the garlic. Thode se kose pani ke saath. Chote chote pieces. Raat ko kha lije. And then you would realize in about 8 days, 10 days, that there is a garlic smell coming from your body. That's the time to stop it. Your body has taken enough garlic uh, and you should discontinue it immediately. Give it a gap for about 10 days and then start again. Okay. Uh, garlic adds a lot of zing to the food. Garlic is used. Uh, a lot of people, perhaps a certain religion do not eat garlic, but everybody else would uh, uh, eat garlic and it should be used uh, in plenty. Uh, this this uh, fellow has perhaps uh, the most immune boosting property on earth and uh, a heavy uh, concentration of uh, allicin, which is absolutely a brilliant ingredient, has ginger oil. Uh, it, it, uh, a lot of people have this when they're a little sick. Uh, uh, you know, dadi maka nuska, thoda sa ginger khalo, you'll be all right. Uh, is is still on. Uh, when you have a sore throat, just keep it in your mouth. It helps a lot. And in a lot of uh, inflammatory uh, illnesses, uh, it should be eaten. And uh, ginger also uses to ward off uh, nausea. So use a lot of ginger. Uh, these obviously are available in every Indian home. So even kachabi khalo, it doesn't really matter. This, this garlic, uh, uh, ginger doesn't stink at all like garlic does. So please uh, use it in plenty. Um, it uh, decreases chronic pain a little bit. Uh, there, there also, uh, uh, it's written that uh, it helps in even arthritic uh, pain. So please use that 
uh, as much as possible. Uh, my friend turmeric, I love it. I love it. I mean, I have turmeric almost the entire day, literally, absolutely. And turmeric, uh, they say that uh, uh, in these COVID times, a little bit of turmeric, very little salt in uh, hot water. When you gargle at night before you get to bed, it really helps you. Uh, the other thing which is very important is milk with turmeric, a little bit of salt, honey, lime juice. If you are not a great uh, milk uh, drinker, uh, mix these in water. They, they would mix better in milk, but in water, if you have that at the end of the day, uh, before you jump onto your bed, have this and it is a dream drink. So use turmeric in everything, everything. It has a, uh, the other day we were talking to Chef Sanjeev Kapoor and he also mentioned that this is a brilliant thing. It has a lot of curcumin, uh, uh, which gives it the color, the, the turmeric color. And uh, 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 it, it uh, decreases exercise induced muscle damage. So a lot of, a lot of people uh, do that. Uh, it's also antiviral, so it should be eaten during the uh, COVID times. This is a brilliant thing. Uh, green tea, very good, but you should be a little careful on where you buy the green tea from. Try not to take tea bags of green tea. These are usually made from leftovers, but uh, try to get the uh, green tea leaves and uh, stew them um, in, in hot water and, and consume them as much as you want. Uh, green tea is packed with flavonoids. Uh, it's a kind of a antioxidant and uh, EGCG, which is epigallocatechin gallate. Uh, it's a very, very uh, uh, powerful antioxidant. Uh, it also is a great uh, immune uh, booster. So instead of having the normal chai with milk, during these times, uh, my friends, avoid milk, uh, chai as much as possible. Have lemon tea, have chamomile tea, have green tea. Uh, these, these are absolutely uh, brilliant things to have. Uh, green tea is also a good source of uh, amino acid, uh, leotheanine, uh, which will aid in uh, germ-fighting compound uh, uh, in your T cells. So drink a lot of, if there's nothing like, You've had too much of green tea. It doesn't do bad if you have about even four or five cups a day. It, it uh, helps you. So green tea, please consume it as much uh, as you can. Uh, papaya, uh, ha uh, it has papain. It, uh, there is another video which will uh, uh, show a lot of this. Uh, papaya is loaded with vitamin C. Tons of it, tons of it, tons of it and uh, also have uh, digestive uh, properties. Papain is a digestive enzyme uh, and uh, also in uh, anti-inflammatory uh, properties. So it doesn't give you, uh, even if you have a, a sore knee or uh, inflammation, wherever, uh, it will, papaya will help you. But again, uh, they say that it should be had in moderation. Too much of it um, may not uh, be good for the stomach. Uh, they also have a, a decent amount of potassium, magnesium, and folate, uh, which will be beneficial to your uh, overall health. So consume a lot of papaya available in plenty. Every radiwala, uh, every, every market will have papaya of all sizes or not. Be a little careful. Uh, they, most of the papayas you get, but you need to be a good judge of how to buy a good papaya, is, is uh, these are injected. And uh, you know, pakane ke liye jaldi pak jaye. So that's not good. Uh, we have a, a good uh, Mr. Reddy Wala who's loyal to you. He'll give you the right papaya, which uh, will be uh, good for your health. Kiwi, a fruit again. Uh, uh, the the Australian kiwi, New Zealand kiwi, available in plenty in the market. An absolutely uh, brilliant uh, uh, fruit. And uh, it has uh, tons of uh, essentially uh, nutrients, a lot of folate, a lot of potassium, vitamin K and vitamin C. Uh, some people love it, uh, use it in a salad or uh, 
uh, have it in the morning, just peel off the outer skin and uh, have the inside. It's slightly kata, but uh, really helps in uh, fighting the infection in your body. Um, uh, even the body functioning, uh, they have about uh, perhaps two in the morning, uh, if you can get them from the market. And kiwis are very good, extremely good for health. Now these, again, the low fat and the non-fat yogurts are available in the market. Uh, what we have, uh, the, 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 you know, what we get here, the normal yogurt may not be good, but uh, low fat and non-fat yogurt, uh, a wee bit expensive than the normal yogurt. But if you can get your hands on, these uh, should be uh, had for the, uh, uh, should be consumed by the diet conscious people but it's very, very uh, healthy, very good for uh, blood uh, pressure. And it, you can even uh, have it as a snack. It will fill your stomach and not do uh, any harm uh, at all. Uh, it is, uh, 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 it says in studies, people who ate enough of these two minerals, that is calcium and potassium, kept their sodium intake low, uh, experienced drops in both systolic and diastolic uh, pressure. So your blood pressure also, uh, had had uh, was maintained very well. So don't have too much of yogurt, but uh, maybe one a day if you can get low fat or non fat yogurts. It is very good, extremely good for health. Spinach, wow, absolutely. This is what papaya. Uh, you know, we've all gone through that papaya comics when we were young. Uh, Mr. Papaya ate a lot of spinach. Uh, it's rich in vitamin C, packed with numerous antioxidants uh, and beta uh, carotene. I would eat it raw, I wouldn't cook it. Because, uh, you know, cooking spinach is an art. Most of the people overcook it and that, that kills it. Do not overcook it. A good way of doing it is just dipping it in warm water and taking it out, it'll get cooked. But if you overcook spinach, then it's just a green uh, piece of paper. It doesn't uh, uh, help you at all. So the the, the Cooking it to the right degree is, is the key to um, uh, consuming spinach. Uh, these are very good in fighting infections and uh, very good for our immune systems. Uh, perhaps available in, in the Tri-City almost around the year, almost around the year, uh, not all the time, but uh, uh, later on, uh, well, it's a, it's a winter thing. So spinach uh, would be available in various forms and uh, it can be consumed. Uh, it's, it's very healthy and it has excellent nutrients, especially vitamin A uh, and, and it uh, is, is, is very good uh, to be consumed. Barley or jow as we call it, uh, it's grain uh, least likely to produce spikes in your blood sugar. So for diabetic uh, people, uh, barley is very good. Uh, uh, down in the western part of India, uh, Mumbai, Maharashtra, etc. Bali is the staple uh, food. And it is a very, very good. It controls your glucose levels. So uh, Bali uh, can be consumed. Uh, I don't know if North India, uh, it's, it's very much in fashion. We do eat once in a way. And, uh, but otherwise, absolutely brilliant. Excuse me. The reason may be that gray, uh, this grain has high levels of soluble fiber called beta glucan. So it gives a lot of fiber to your diet, uh, which is digested very slowly and helps lower cholesterol level. So it's very good if you can do barley ki, barley ki roti rather than the ache ki roti. It's quite tasty. Well, you have to get used to the taste, but then once you get addicted to the barley roti, you will not have any other roti. Uh, substitute barley flour uh, for about ha half the all-purpose type called for in your muffin or quick bread recipe. So if you're doing bread at home or if you make muffins, barley should be used rather than the, the other uh, atta. Uh, cane chili pepper. Now cane pepper, not a very common ingredient in the uh, uh, Indian homes, but uh, those, those who are uh, exposed to continental uh, European food would certainly keep cane chili pepper in, in their homes. 
not very uh, the, uh, the these chilies are spicy but uh, uh, you know very very good for, uh, for blood sugar levels and uh, if you have the guts and the inclination uh, uh, consume them uh, raw if you can they would really help you control uh, blood sugar levels and uh, uh, diabetes and uh, uh, in the powder form it's available in every grocery store in uh, supermarket but not many people would keep it in their homes but uh, if you can uh, get hold of a bottle keep it sprinkle it uh, uh, generously if you can uh, uh, take that much of uh, chilies on uh, whatever food you made curry ke upar ken chili pepper dalo wow it is absolutely uh, brilliant carrots 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 mr carrots uh, absolutely a brilliant uh, vegetable abhi jo carrots mil rahi hain they are not that great bahar se aati hain but the carrots you get in winters in in the tri city are a super very tasty uh, and and uh, uh, th these are the ones even if you eat in kacha or in a vegetable form uh, keeping in mind that you don't overcook them uh, would cut the risk of diabetes in a lot of people so so whoever's got diabetes just uh, eat a lot of carrots and it uh, absolutely uh, brilliant uh, things uh, they have they have very uh, high level of uh, antioxidants in these vegetables and uh, because of the color they also make your dish very colorful uh, you can just toss them in a salad uh, they they can be eaten since they can be eaten raw uh, it's it's brilliant on a uh, salad so eat a lot of carrots consume a lot of uh, carrots if you can for the uh, non vegetarians uh, salmon is a brilliant fish brilliant fish and you get it commonly now uh, the the actual salmon uh, uh, salmon came in from the mediterranean and the uh, dead sea etc uh, and uh, uh, it's available in the market it's a very high source of omega 3 fatty acids now for the vegetarians um, you know it's it's a substitute omega 3 fatty acids which is available in a whole lot of other things but if you are a good uh, fish eater then salmon is recommended it doesn't harm your body at all uh, like seafood and shrimps and all those kind of things are not very good they have very high calorific value but salmon doesn't have uh, too much it has a very good flavor uh, you can mellow it uh, by adding a white wine or a stock or a lemon zest and uh, dill which is a herb or fennel fennel uh, herb and these are very good you can stew it you can grill it uh, don't put too much too much of oil salmon has natural oil and uh, then cut it and uh, you can even uh, place it on toast and uh, have absolutely a brilliant uh, uh, fish but this is the only non vegetarian uh, 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 item which I mentioned in my presentation. Now, black beans not very commonly available. This is kala lobia. Okay, you have the white lobia. This is not rajma. Somebody did mention the other day that uh, black beans are rajma. They're not rajma. This is the kala lobia, which is available in a lot of places. Very tasty. If you can have it, uh, it is very good source of magnesium. okay so please have this in your kitchen and uh, once in a way uh, it should be cooked like rajma or like uh, lobia uh, and 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 consume very tasty with all the masalas it becomes a really good thing uh, dried cherries now cranberries as they called uh, they are they are slightly tartish slightly khatta and meetha and loaded with the uh, anthocyanins antioxidants uh that help neutralize the enzyme uh it doesn't cause plaque uh or even if plaque is there present it breaks plaque so it helps in that these are a little bit expensive but uh, very good to keep in your uh, uh refrigerator if you can um, uh, keep it there and consume it every now and then they're very good uh these are dried cherries not fresh cherries are kind of seasonal you can also get them but get them from the right source uh, and and uh, they are a very good source of uh, the above <clears throat> now my favorite chocolate 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 
Uh, both these given here, uh, it was initially said, uh, and everybody says dark chocolate, khau, dark chocolate, khau, bohut achha hota hai, bohut achha hota hai. white chocolate consume nahi karo. So we did a little bit of uh, research and we found out uh, the, the milkier sister of dark chocolate is the white chocolate. Uh, it is very good and it may reduce high blood pressure uh, and, and uh, cholesterol, the dark chocolates. But uh, white chocolate boosts brain function. So consume dark chocolate, but uh, there's also another variety available called the bitter chocolate. If you consume, consume these, these are very good. Uh, these are good in uh, uh, stress hormone uh, uh, cortisones uh, and, and help in uh, 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 weight gain. Uh, but but uh, consume them in moderation. Both these fellows should be consumed in moderation. Perhaps one little bite. The dark chocolate, the Amul one given here, uh, is available for about 100 rupees. It's a big, huge one. Consume one little uh, bite. Uh, perhaps uh, after every dinner, uh, and and it's very good. Just take it before sleep. But uh, again, very clearly written, moderation is the key. So don't consume too much and say, uh, Ravi Kapila ne bola ki dark chocolate achha, so I'm having the entire bar. Please, please don't do that. Have a little uh, uh, bite and uh, uh, it's, it's good. So both these uh, can be had in moderation. A favorite of all the kids and adults. It's my favorite too, so I don't know which category I would fall to, but chocolate should be consumed. They're, they are very good uh, 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 in, in, in your diet. Now oils, uh, I've, I've written here, uh, some of us do olive, some do sunflower, some canola. These are low in saturated uh, fats, but a lesser known fact is that they're good source of vitamin E also. Vitamin E is not available uh, too much in the diet, so in the other things, and they are, so they are, they are pumped into these, uh, 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 the, the oils, and they give you that. And uh, the low density lipoprotein, the bad uh, 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 well, anti antioxidants and these kind of things, the cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, LDL, uh, may be lowered by consuming these. Uh, and and uh, as we all know, LDL uh, is bad, HDL is good. So, so use these uh, again in moderation. Uh, very interesting, it's not come to India. It, it is there, but in European countries, in, in, in uh, Britain, in England, they use uh, oil sp sprays. So if you can get one of these spray bottles uh, and put the oil in that, it is very good. So spray the pan before you cook the food. Okay, we, we tend to, uh, we don't know how much is much and how much is little. So spray is a better thing. So if we can get one of these spray cans of these uh, three bottles there, uh, they, they'd be of great uh, use to you. Uh, Mr. Potato, a uh, lot of people say, nahi, alu mat khao, alu mat khao, alu mat khao. But alu actually is good. They are, they are, you know, the red purple uh, skinned and sweet potatoes, you get them in the market, uh, uh, are very high in carotenoids. And uh, these help in uh, fighting lung cancer and uh, heart disease. So they should be consumed. Mashed potato is good. Fried potatoes, kabhi mat khao. Don't have the french fries you get in the market, that's junk food. Don't have the veggies you get in the market, that's junk food. If you bo boil a potato or... Uh, you uh, uh, consume it even in a mash form, boil karke, mash karke. You can lay whatever uh, on top of the mash that becomes a base, and the scooper could be up down sakte. It is uh, healthy. So consume uh, a lot of that. Uh, nuts and uh, nut butters, you need to be a, a little careful, uh, uh, especially in Europe and uh, stuff like that. Uh, those places, uh, there is a warning in every. Uh, uh, bottle you get or every every other thing that it could have nuts. Uh, a lot of those people are allergic to nuts. So are we. But uh, uh, our circumstances may, it's not come. It, it could have traces of nuts, but it, usually you may not find it in bottles. But uh, walnuts are very good uh, uh, and, and it's very good uh, for the uh, heart. Uh, so consume it. 
Uh, they're very uh, high in omega-3 fatty, fatty acids and uh, consume as much. So like almonds, cashew nut, a big no-no. I, I would say avoid, but some people uh, do uh, love it. But uh, almonds and uh, macadonia and uh, walnuts, consume them, but in moderation. Okay, uh, maybe four or five, don't take a big uh, uh, handful of nuts, give I love nuts, then, then they do more harm than uh, good. So consume them, but in moderation. Coffee, very, very good drink, uh, helps uh, in type two uh, diabetes and uh, Parkinson's disease to ward these off. But uh, recommended, coffee should not be consumed with milk. So if you can have black coffee, uh, uh, have it. But dood jitra ni dalo. Well, we we love cappuccino. Cappuccino is bad. So black coffee pure. There are a lot of traces uh, uh, in research that black coffee is very good uh, uh, for diabetes. Very good for Parkinson's disease, and it can also ward off uh, uh, cavities. And and uh, a lot of people, if they have headaches. Uh, have coffee and it seems to have a uh, uh, good effect. And coffee, obviously, if you had uh, a drink too many the previous night, coffee is also good. Uh, it helps in uh, getting the uh, hangover off. So absolutely brilliant. Uh, bruschetta, uh, a very good thing. It's, it is available, ready-made. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a big loaf. You cut it into small pieces and stuff it with these things. It becomes... Uh, uh, bruschetta, tomatoes, onion, garlic, olive oil. Uh, it, it's a very good appetizer, not very strong, not very uh, heavy, and uh, it helps. Uh, it's a great uh, source of lycoprotein and it helps you a lot as an antioxidant. So, if you can get a bruschetta, uh, serve it as a snack, absolutely uh, brilliant. Spices uh, are important. A lot of cinnamon. I, I, I went the other day and I was advised there are two kinds of cinnamons available in the market. One is the, uh, the one which is, uh, you know, the wrapped together. Uh, that, that is the one which is good, not the broken one. Broken one is slightly knuckly. Don't use it as much as uh, uh, too much. But the cinnamon, the one which is wrapped like, like a tube, uh, a little expensive, but that's the real one, and that should uh, uh, be put in uh, the uh, the food. Uh, cinnamon mixed with water first thing in the morning. Cinnamon powder mixed with water first thing in the morning is very very good to reduce weight, to lower blood uh, glucose. If you can do that, uh, it becomes difficult in a day or two because cinnamon doesn't really dissolve and get stuck in your uh, uh, pharynx. Uh, it becomes a little, you know, you start coughing, but maybe after two or three days, other uh, and uh, uh, you would love it. But consume this and, and it's a brilliant drink. Uh, turmeric, we've spoken uh, enough about, uh, uh, very good for arthritis pa patients. Tea, again, uh, uh, you know, rather than uh, grabbing a cola and those aerated drinks, please keep away from the aerated drinks as much as possible. It's better to have these uh, tea, uh, uh, the black, green, white, uh, oolong, but please avoid milk because I personally feel, uh, feel that milk kills uh, uh, ch a chai. Uh, now, these uh, ones are also very good. They prevent cancer and they reduce the risk of Alzheimer and heart disease. So tea can be consumed as much as you want, but uh, do not put sugar in it and do not uh, milk your tea. Soups, very good, can be uh, used as a meal. Uh, one should not have soup and then have a meal later. Broth is very good, very, very healthy. You can put a lot of stuff in it. If you have barley at home, use that also. Uh, and and uh, only thing is watch the sodium. Don't put too much of salt in it. But uh, uh, stock with all these vegetables on it, uh, whatever you can get your uh, hands on, put them right with beans to uh, uh, the spring onions, to carrots, to potatoes, to, uh, you know, ginger, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Put all those garlic. Uh, it can become a meal because it's, it's got enough uh, in it. So uh, consume broth 
rather than the cream ones. The cream ones are not good. They are knuckly. Do not have uh, cream soup, have broth. They're very healthy, very, very good. Uh, this, this is another video, a very quick uh, four minutes video, which will uh, again uh, give a brief on uh, what Hello I Hello and welcome to Med Simplify. Eating certain foods can help keep your immune system strong. If you're looking for ways to prevent illness like flu and other viral and bacterial infections, focus on what you eat. Plan your meals to include these 10 powerful foods to boost your immunity and fight infections. Papaya is a fruit that is loaded with vitamin C. You can find 157% of the daily recommended amount of vitamin C in a single papaya. It originated in Central America and Southern Mexico, but this fruit is now grown in many other parts of the world. Papaya contains an enzyme called papain, which can break down tough protein chains found in muscle meat and can help in digestion also. Papayas have decent amounts of potassium, vitamin B, folate, all of which are beneficial to your immune system. It also contains decent amounts of other antioxidants and vitamin A. All these vitamins and antioxidants makes it a great fruit for boosting your immunity. Garlic is one of the most widely used spice for adding that extra flavor to the food. Garlic is known by one other name and that is immunity boosting superstar. For thousands of years, people all over the world have hailed garlic as an elixir of health. It helps to treat common cold, flu and a variety of other illnesses. Despite its notorious odor, this plant actually belongs to the lily family. Ancient writings show that garlic was used as an aphrodisiac in India and as a currency in Egypt. One clove of garlic contains 5 mg of calcium, 12 mg of potassium and more than 100 sulfuric compounds, powerful enough to wipe out bacteria and infection. In fact, garlic was used to prevent gangrene in both world wars. Raw garlic, not cooked or dried, is the most beneficial for health since heat and water inactivate sulfur enzymes which can diminish garlic's antibiotic effect. Garlic also seems to lower blood pressure and cholesterol and also kills parasites in our body. Both green and black teas are packed with flavonoids, which is a type of antioxidant. Where green tea really excels is in its levels of epigallocatechin gallate or EGCG, another powerful antioxidant. EGCG has been shown to enhance immune function. The fermentation process black tea goes through destroys a lot of EGCG present in it. Green tea, on the other hand, is steamed and not fermented, so the EGCG is preserved. It has been studied to treat various diseases and may be one of the main reasons green tea has such powerful medicinal properties. Green tea is also a good source of the amino acid L-theanine. L-theanine may aid in the production of germ-fighting compounds in your T-cells. Broccoli is supercharged with vitamins and minerals. Packed with vitamin A, C and E, as well as many other antioxidants and fiber, broccoli is one of the healthiest vegetables you can put on your table. The rich amounts of vitamin C found in broccoli it helps to boost your immune levels. 100 grams of broccoli can contain up to 89 milligrams of vitamin C, which is more than a lot of citrus fruits. Broccoli is also rich in beta carotene and a host of other antioxidants, which makes it a perfect vegetable for your overall immunity. The key to keeping its power intact is to cook it as little as possible, or better yet, not at all. Out of all the cooking methods, steaming is best if you want to preserve the nutrients present in broccoli. Ginger is another ingredient that many people have trusted since ages for treating various types of illnesses. Ginger may help decrease inflammation, which can help reduce sore throat, arthralgias, flu, common cold, and many other inflammatory illnesses. Ginger may also help decrease nausea and vomiting. While it's used in many sweet desserts, ginger packs some heat in the form of gingerol, which is a relative of capsaicin. This compound decreases chronic pain and possesses cholesterol-lowering properties, which is according to a recent animal research conducted in Australia. Ginger helps the immune system perform optimally by boosting it when it is underactive or suppressing it when it is overactive. 
research also suggests that ginger can help fight drug resistant bacteria also spinach is rich in vitamin c it's also packed with numerous antioxidants and beta carotene which increases the infection fighting ability of your immune system this vegetable can be incorporated quite easily into your diet and it is cheap as well as easy to prepare spinach is rich in calcium iron magnesium potassium vitamin a folate and many other antioxidants which are essential micronutrients for your immune system similar to broccoli spinach is healthiest when it is cooked as little as possible so that it retains its nutrients however light cooking enhances its vitamin a and allows other nutrients to be released from oxalic acid spinach is also one of the best sources of dietary magnesium which is necessary for a healthy immune system and also to maintain your blood pressure levels citrus fruits are one of the best sources of vitamin c most people turn to vitamin c after they've caught a cold that's because it helps to build your immune system vitamin c increases the production of white blood cells which are key to fighting infections a review published in the nutritional journal showed that getting enough vitamin c can reduce the symptoms and shorten the duration of respiratory tract infections like common cold it may also be useful in preventing and improving outcomes for conditions like pneumonia malaria and diarrhea Antioxidants meanwhile can help protect against oxidative stress and prevent damage to your immune cells. Popular citrus fruits include grapefruit, oranges, tangerines, lemons and limes. Because your body doesn't produce or store vitamin C, you need daily doses of vitamin C for continued health. Almost all citrus fruits are high in vitamin C. With such a variety to choose from, it's easy to add a squeeze of this vitamin to any meal. If you think citrus fruits have the most vitamin C of any fruit or vegetable, well, think again. Ounce for ounce, red bell peppers contain twice as much as vitamin C as compared to the citrus fruits. Besides boosting your immune system, vitamin C may also help maintain a healthy skin. Red bell peppers are also a rich source of beta carotene. Beta carotene helps to keep your eyes and skin healthy. Many studies have shown an association between diets rich in carotenoids and a reduced incidence of many forms of cancer and it has been suggested that this is due to the antioxidant properties of carotenoids. There are many different reasons why apples are great for building a strong immunity and good health. First and foremost, Apples contain good quantities of all the essential vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin B1, B2 and vitamin C. All these vitamins are essential for a proper function of the immune system. Apples also contain pectin, which is a type of fiber that acts as a prebiotic. This means it feeds the good bacteria in your gut. Our gut bacteria directly regulates the function of our immune system by releasing compounds in the gut that act on our immune cells and modulate their function. Soluble fiber changes the personality of the immune cells. They go from being pro-inflammatory angry cells to anti-inflammatory healing cells that help us recover faster from infection. This was said by Gregory Freud, who is a professor at the UI College of Medicine and Gastroenterology. In addition to good diet, exercise, proper sleep and proper supplementation is essential to build a good immunity at this time of the year. Make sure to watch our video on how to boost your immune system and get... Hello and welcome to Mexipi. Okay, uh, last but not the least, uh, a couple of slides again. Uh, variety is the key to proper nutrition. Eating just one food may not be enough. You have to have an amalgamation of uh, a lot of foods uh, together and eat them constantly. Because somebody said that this is healthy and don't eat it for the next uh, uh, week, uh, one week is not going to help. All the good uh, foods have to be eaten constantly for them to show a result. 
Okay. Uh, please pay attention to the serving size. Do not overindulge uh, in eating whatever. Uh, and uh, eating right is a great start. Uh, you need to protect your family and stuff like that. Now, I, need, I want to spend a little time on this. There is a lot of myth going on. There are a lot of people talking on how to dis disinfect your fruits and veggies when they come from the market or when they come from the radiwala outside your house. Now, uh, in the kitchens, in the hotels, potassium permanganate was used quite, quite a bit. Now, potassium permanganate is KMNO4. It comes in a little packet of about uh, 40 rupees and it has crystals. So take a bucket which is clean, put about two or three crystals of KMNO4, potassium permanganate. The only problem here is that it makes the water purple. And when you put the fruits inside, they get cleansed absolutely well. But the only problem is they also become a little purple. So the most important thing here is to have a clean cloth with you and dry every fruit, every item before. Some people say we put it in the sun and it dries by itself. No, it doesn't. There's certain areas, the sides, certain angles where water still retains and it'll rot your fruit quickly. So you have to do that little extra effort Take a little towel, which is clean, or take a cloth, which is clean, and individually uh, dry the fruits. Very important when you do uh, things like uh, bhindi and stuff like that, which are there in plenty. Uh, some people also use soda bicarbonate, available uh, as any HCO3, very commonly available, called uh, baking soda. Uh, put it in, again in a bucket, dip your fruits in it, and uh, again, uh, the secret is dry the fruit very well before you put it in the refrigerator. Uh, put it out in the sun, but only after drying. Some people keep it for 12 hours, 14 hours. They say Corona dies in 12 hours to 14 hours. I don't know. There's no proof in there. But uh, do, do dry the fruit. That's the most important thing. Now, things like banana, um, uh, people say that, it already has a skin, so it doesn't really matter. No, even those have to be washed and they, they need to be dried. Uh, some homes are also putting fruits under running water. It does help. Some chefs suggest put a wee bit of salt in it, put a little bit of salt in it and put the fruits uh, in it. It would help. But out of the lot, the cleanest, the best is uh, baking soda. So if you can do that, and if you have the time and the inclination and the energy, then, then do it and dry the fruits completely. Okay, so this, this again uh, was important. Uh, I would very proudly mention here that Team Chitkara College of Hospitality Management, we are experimenting on uh, a few things. And one of the thing is uh, something for a diabetic patient. Uh, Mulberry, stevia leaves, amla, the Indian blackberry, and gond katira. Uh, we're going to do a blend. I won't give you the uh, give the secret because secret out because it's still in the experimentation uh, stage. But we are making a particular a little tablet which will be given to diabetic patients, which will be given to COVID nineteen patients with diabetes mellitus, which is a very high risk factor and can lead to complications or, uh, and, and even fatality, mortality. Uh, uh, so we are, we, we are trying to experiment. We are doing it. The process is on. And uh, once uh, we've done this Eureka, uh, it'll be a great uh, immunity booster. So we are at it. Uh, results would be out uh, perhaps in a month or so. Uh, we are also doing uh, a Harban Karela vinegar. This is a project, a second project. Uh, there's a lot of Karela juice available in the market, but nobody has made a Karela vinegar. This itself is an immunity booster, will help the diabetic patients. And the latest little bit of research we've done 
is that it can be used as a disinfectant even in cleaning wood. There are a lot of uh, cleaning agents available in the market which are not for wood, which are for leather, which are for metal, and, and people are using it on the tables. So our stuff, which is a mix of Karela and Jaggery Gur, uh, is, is also under experiment stage. We will make herbal Karela vinegar, which can be consumed by people very, very healthy, or can also be used uh, as uh, uh, disinfectant. We, we are working on this. We are working very hard on this. We are working very quickly on this. And uh, uh, we hope, please wish us good luck. We, we hope to be uh, successful and we shall be successful. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you all had uh, a great time listening to me. I uh, hope you've taken a, f a few notes and uh, thank you. Uh, I wish uh, all of you to stay healthy, stay safe, uh, wish all your families uh, the best of health and uh, spirits, keep smiling and thank you very much. Thank you.